let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The first Son of God. Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 1 verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, And let all the angels of God worship him. Second lesson, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. Golden text, Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for, for them. Quote, Brethren, this is the story about our Lord Jesus Christ. His story has got no beginning and no end. It is stated that when he is brought back, all angels of God will come and worship him. You will note that if this covenant was established from the beginning, Lucifer would have bowed down to and worship him. It was written that all must bow down to him. If all the angels of God are commanded to bow down to him, what is man to resist him? You must note very well that the first son and the father are one. Do not make any mistake. Believe that we all are the sons of God, but our Lord Jesus Christ is the first son of God. Have you ever heard that a father possesses more than one first son? If even your children are as many as the sons at the seashore, there must be a first son. That is exactly our position with our Lord Jesus Christ, the first son of God. Among all the creatures of God, Christ is the first son and he is also the last. He is the first. That is why he says that the Father and he are one. The Son cannot do without the Father and the Father cannot do without the Son. He says, None knows the Son but the Father, except the Son reveals him to whom to whosoever he will. No one can come to me except my Father calls him. No one can also go to the Father except through Christ. Everything our Lord Jesus Christ says reflects the Father, and the Father, on the other hand, mentions the Son at all times. This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. A spiritual son goes thus. The heavens declare the glory of God and obey him. But the earth reject him. When it is said that a single angel can destroy the world, you all jeer. But I had earlier told you that the winds are angels, the sand, water, animal, sun, moon, and the star inclusive. Even the thunder and lightning are God's messengers. This is why. As soon as Christ lifted up his hands in command, everything subjects to him. Whenever you call on his name, everything is subdued in obedience to what was written. Man's
stubbornness despite God's love. Who is man to resist his rule and to refuse paying him obeisance? This is the only problem I have with you. This is the only problem I have with you. To which of the angel has he ever said, I have begotten you? But God has begotten our Lord Jesus Christ as it is stated. When he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of God worship him. God did not say he bringeth in the angel. He states categorically, he states categorically that when he bringeth in the first begotten, he did not say when he sends angel Gabriel. We are expressly told that when the Son of God shall come, all the angels will worship him. Therefore, brethren, ask yourself a simple question. What is our position? This should prove to you that our Lord Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. Be not mistaken that when he comes, he will go from house to house preaching and offering prayers to the sick. Do not conjecture that when he comes, he will go about healing diverse infirmities. I know you will say that he is a friend of sinners and so forth. But do not forget that he made himself a sacrifice once and for all. And there is no sin that has power over him. His coming now is mainly to save those who have been patiently waiting for him. He has come to rule every house with mercy, patience and love. This is why occultists declare that there is no more power anywhere as Christ has come to rule with his Father. All angels like fire, water and all other elements take orders from him only. Should you try, you will surely fail because these angels are under the rule of our Lord Jesus Christ. Even if you command death to destroy someone's life, it will not obey you since his power is under the rule of Christ. It is significant to note that when it is said that all angels will bow down to him, it also means that they will serve him. Do not misconstrue that when he comes down on earth, you will be opportuned to have him for a conversation of any kind because he does not welcome any familiarity. The great monarch. He is now on the throne while his angels exercise duties and act according to instructions. This system can be likened to the system of rule during the colonial days whereby the queen sat on the throne while the deputies worked in the various colonies. To be more precise, here is a system the sovereign rules over everywhere through agents. It is sacrilege to ask Christ to offer you prayers or to make an attempt of shaking hands with him, even to ask him any question. It is quite true that when a person is not yet crowned, he mixes freely with any society. Thereby, any person could rub shoulders or converse with him. Once his position is changed and uplifted, everything about him changes such that he would be cut off from a common contact and unnecessary familiarity. If the emirs 
of the southern if the emirs of the northern states are so reverenced being mere human beings as they are of what measure do you think that of Christ should be being that he is the king of kings and lord of lords the queen of England and her princes are honored while they are placed in this esteemed position yet they are nothing more than common human beings before the angels of God but all means by all means our Lord Jesus Christ is to be honored far more than the earthly kings and queens because he is a king according to promise this is why a higher position and honor in any society is given to whosoever passes through Christ to the Father. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody cometh unto the Father but by me. Now that you profess that you do not know him, how would you be saved if you vow that you will never bow down to him? Who is he that will secure your salvation? If you do not reverence and honor him, through whom will you enter into the kingdom of heaven? As a sovereign, Christ will not execute any duty except through his angels who are spread everywhere to carry out his orders. You could be arrested, rebuked, or hanged, then how will you escape the best government? Christ's government is the best because no angel can act except he receive instruction from him. It is unlike the chaos existing amidst the worldly governments and her servants. This is a note of warning to anybody who doubted him to doubt no more because all authorities in heaven and on earth have been given to him before the foundations of the earth were laid. This is a well-known fact and all angels, even Lucifer, ocean, forest and the sun, you are of the opinion that you will invoke angel Gabriel or project in order to see God but the question is where will you find them the false prophets hold the same opinion but I ask but I ask to know which God they mean to see through astral projection there is none permitted to contact God except Christ if you like project into the last sphere you will not meet with our Lord Jesus Christ if you go into the depths of the sea he is permanently there there is no place Christ is not available brethren there is no alternative than to accept Christ as your Lord and Master if you refuse him he will not he will not entreat you but remember that you will never escape the execution of his angels. The decrees of Christ. Christ has got his own edict concerning the division of labor in his government. Just as you have got assignment for the warders, the soldiers, and other law enforcement agents when you are told that the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of god and his christ do not take it for a joke his reign cannot be compared with the earthly dynasty the work in his kingdom continuously goes according to his divine purpose no angel can ask him any questions that is why it is said that it is unreasonable 
to get up and ask God, give me, and ask God to give me this or give me that. Jesus, do this or do that for me. This, that is not the case. The condition is that you must pass through the correct channel, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we ask God for everything through the name and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Note that there is no use of forceful methods. All the, full, at the fullness of time is supremacy will be revealed to all because there is nothing whatsoever that is not under his reign. If you commit sin, there is no other person to plead on your behalf other than Christ. He is the Prime Minister of God. There is none who has attended such holiness to be an advocate for you than him. This is why he said that whatever he opens, none can close, and whatever he closes, none can open. There is no other way for you to obtain a relief from your suffering. There is no other defender, and there is no advocate other than our Lord Jesus Christ. You have been warned never to impute sins on people because sin is like a gutter, which when you are fallen into, the stain is difficult to remove from your clothing. This is why Paul lamented, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this sin? Only Christ can save. Despite all your endeavors and sufferings, if you do not accept Christ as your personal Savior, your efforts are in vain. You may credit yourself that you have given alms to the, society, to the needy, that you have fed the hungry and have raised the dead. Know that none of these Deeds of kindness can save you, except you accept our Lord Jesus Christ as everything for you. If you have ever been stubborn to him, or have refused to listen to him, be prayerful, because as long as it was said that all the angels would bow to him, you are so insignificant for him. To be mindful of your refusal to accept him as the king of kings. Chasing shadows instead of substance. Is, is it not wonderful that you waste much time to acquire money but cannot spend even one minute for Christ? Christ is here. He was before the foundation of the world were laid. Have you any doubt? If you disbelieve this truth, that is your problem. Until this world passes away, he will never come to your doorpost to announce that he is Christ. Nor would any person descend from above to tell you, I am the Christ. Where do you think he is? He is on earth right now. He is in the waters and he is everywhere. And that is why everything is subject unto him. All that you have got to do is to go and proclaim to the world that the former covenant is passed away and that the new covenant is now reigning as it was stated, after those days, said the Lord, and they shall not teach every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know him, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. Do you doubt this statement? 
so it was said that as the lightning flashes from the east to the west so shall the coming of the Lord be the scriptures asked where shall this be it was replied that where the carcass is there will the vultures abound did he not assure you that he was going to prepare a place for you so that where he is there you shall be also now he has come back on earth and he has collected all his children and has united them to himself if someone if someone tells you that you should go and see christ outside do not go for the scripture warned they will say lo he is here lo he is there do not listen to them do you know that christ is in you he is within and without he is everywhere mark you christ is no politician to go campaigning or or some sort of chief to struggle for recognition he is the king of kings whom the universe must acknowledge he does not plead for your recognition it is your duty and mine to seek and accept him as the only source of our salvation because life truth peace and all other virtues are embodied in him the father is in him and he is in the father also his judgment is just and righteous void of human dictates yet he is a merciful god for though he knows that you spend time in going to the farm to collect food but have spent no time for him he imputes no sin on you read the first lesson again first lesson hebrews chapter 1 verse 6 and again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world he said and let all the angels of god worship him you may wonder what manner of man is this that all that all the angels must bow unto but john in his vision saw an angel who he was to bow to and the angel forbid forbade him being that both of them were servants now you have seen he whom all angels must bow to you do you not believe that if he were an angel or man all angels would not have bowed to him for example has any angel ever bowed down to a human being or a fellow angel this is a proof that whatever is from heaven is very great on earth his glory is being revealed very gradually and quietly as he did not come to make noise note that nobody sent him down to the earth plain he seeks no service from anyone but as it was written all must serve him even if it is an it even if it is one angel alone it can represent the universe our lord jesus christ is the symbol that enoch saw ascending into heaven in the company of the host of angels christ's supremacy cannot be compared with any other his indisputable su supremacy when peter tried to defend him he stated that if he wanted to fight he could have asked the father to send down 12 legions of angels to defend him he is a king of no mean order it was written that his last enemy to be destroyed is death you are witnesses that every being being is afraid of death 
Yet the scriptures tell us that Christ shall destroy it. Our Lord Jesus Christ has come down to judge both angels and human beings. True, though he exercises long patience, he has come to save the world as well as you and I. If he had not come in a human form, died on the cross, and ascended into heaven, there could have been no salvation for mankind. It is unthinkable to say that until Christ come back, where did he go? And where had he been? He stated, My father works and I work. You may say that after all, Mary delivered him. Is that the time? Is that the time he came into the world? If he truly he was delivered, then who was in heaven? Christ was the one. This is why he said, If I tell you things earthly and you do not understand, how would you believe it how would you believe me if I tell you heavenly things? He also said, The wind bloweth where it listed, and no one knows where from no one knows from whence it cometh, nor where it goeth. So is everyone born of the Spirit. Our Lord Jesus Christ said that no one could come from heaven except the heavenly. While you are imagining that he is there or that he is in heaven, what do you understand by these expressions that are confusing? What is meant by heaven is likened to the twinkling of one's eyes, by which one sees no light just for that time, but afterwards light is seen again. The word heaven is a spiritual language. When our Lord Jesus Christ declared that there were some standing here who would never taste of death until this glory of God is revealed, many people took it for a joke. After the transfiguration of Christ on the mountain, Christ, command, Christ communed with Moses and Elijah, after which a voice from heaven declared him as the beloved son in whom he was well pleased and asked all to hear him. What was, be, what was beheld at that time was a great light seen everywhere. Peter said to Christ, after the disappearance of those elects, Master, let us build three tents, one for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for the Lord. Such was the thought of man, though what was seen was the manifestation of God's glory. You have been seeing the glory of God manifesting. If you doubt, tell me if it is so simple a thing for your dead father to come to you in a dream and discuss possible solutions to your problem. Or is it a simple thing that your departmental head comes to give you words of comfort when you are in trouble? He is our shield and adversities. It has been a common practice that when you are in trouble, you call on your dead father or mother to solve, to solve it, but in vain. Now it is for you to call on our Lord Jesus Christ at any time, anywhere, and at any circumstance, because he is ready to come to your aid. Those of you calling him have seen and can testify that nothing has stood against your way. Whatever the magnitude of the assailant, once you make mention of the name of Christ, every power is quelled. Therefore, brethren, since our Lord Jesus Christ lives, he is everywhere and he is most powerful. It is proper for us to accept, love, worship, and honor him. He comes as a thief in the night, as he said, 
before if a man hears that there is a thief in his farm and he goes in making noisy bang will he succeed in arresting the thief this is why he comes like a thief when nobody will ever expect him because everyone goes about their ways carrying out their normal duties the attitude continues until all things are accomplished hold fast whatever you grasp do not mind when people may say do not mind who criticizes or who praises if christ reveals the father son and holy spirit to you keep it to yourself do not allow flesh to overcome you because immediately you are away from him down doom befalls you there is a great quest for our lord jesus christ in the western and african countries some are searching with doubt and annoyance while others do this steadfastly but all to no avail yet our lord jesus christ is here carrying out his work you ought to recognize him read the second lesson again second lesson hebrews chapter 2 verse 8 thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet for in that he put all in subjection under him he left nothing that is not put under him but we see not yet all things put under him have you all understood that his promise was to come and transform us from the sinful nature to righteousness his assignment was not to come and talk unceasingly our lord jesus christ his power itself this time is not the same with his previous coming he grants you the holy spirit which endows you with power to execute marvelous works hence he said all power in heaven and on earth are given unto me why powers recede the scripture tells us that when he ascended into heaven he sent the comforter to his disciples with various gifts of prophecy healing and raising the dead some received the gift of the power to control and others received the power of reasoning is it not wonderful that these are embodiments of one person since he owned them and distributed same he has come to collect back all these power to himself this is why there there are complaints everywhere that there is no more power in anything except in him this thus proving that man is a package of vanity when you call to mind the incident that took place during the last Nigerian civil war, how the authorities first of all snatched away every war implement without questioning. That is exactly what our Lord Jesus Christ has done. Furthermore, when these weapons were collected from the people, they were used in waging war on their previous owners if that could be done by man what do you think can be done by the omniscient and the omnipotent he did this to render you bare so that you may continue to plead with him for them this is also the reason why all secret societies have failed churches fall apart while native and medical doctors as well as fetish priests become despondent if any person tells you that elementary spirits exist that 
person is a liar. Now you are told that there is no other temple other than that of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father. The temple of God according to the scriptures requires no light for the Lamb that sitteth on the throne is the light. I know that you are yet to know these things. Christ allocates knowledge per se. You will realize that all manners of knowledge is sent to each of you at your different destinations here in the new kingdom of God. This is why many of you know how to construct buildings. You are able to design. These go not without understanding. Now, angels render services. Brethren, had you known where you are and the person caring for you, you would bow in reverence for him. Gone are the days Christ went about in canals and walked about from place to place praying for people. It was so because nothing was accomplished. It is just as one cannot compare the war implement of the year 1914 with those manufactured and used in the year 1939. Nor could the war weapons, nor could the war implements used from 1914 to 1939 be compared with the present weapons. At one time, you hear of atomic bombs and at another, you hear of nuclear weapons the most deadly war implement. We are thankful to the Father because each possessor of such weapon is hereby constrained to sign treaties of peace. This results in no more world wars. Their wicked designs have taught them to sell off those war implements to the African countries that use them on each other. I illustrate the heavenly things with the earthly so that you know that if the earth plane improves in principle, the heavens would outclass in the improvement. Christ can never adopt the first method in anything that he is doing. He uses modern system to be consonant with today's system. In the past, when he invited people to himself, many gave excuses like going to bury my father, being on a honeymoon, and so forth. Now, the varies. No, he varies his method of extending his call just to meet up with the time. I have been telling you that the atmosphere is not what you have to take lightly. You have to desist from improper bickering. Just watch out for he is doing his work according to his divine plan. This is why I have been telling you that you have not understood these things properly. Simply take it easy and make no fuss about things because until he has finished doing one thing or the other, you will not know when and how he did it. Nor would you know that he is at work. Pilate of affairs in the universe. Now, let us take a look at what is reigning, at what is raging in the government and throughout the world. No one has ever asked the people to report, nor has anybody told those with atomic energy not to fight. Neither has any person been delegated to warn the warring parties 
because our Lord Jesus Christ is doing his work slowly but steadily. Should you feel reluctant to go to a certain place, you will find out that when you finally decide to go, that Christ and his angel had been there already in full operation. Now that you find Brotherhood of the Cross and Star everywhere, who is responsible for establishing them other than our Lord Jesus Christ? Presently, centers of the worldly powers like India, America and Europe refers all those who seek spiritual aid from them to the fold of Brotherhood of the Cross, 34 Amber Street, Calabar Cross River State of Nigeria in West Africa. You may decide to travel down there out of curiosity just to see the place from where power is said to emanate. But I assure you that the more you look is the less you see. Are you not afraid of the marvelous work of Christ? Personally, I am very afraid. Be careful that you do not boast of this power. Sometimes when a sick person is brought to you owing to unbelief in the fact that Christ does everything, you order that the sick person should be carried away. When the sick, re when the sick requested only prayers before the people carry him away, you offered and behold, the sick was relieved and became healed. Read the golden text again. Golden text, Hebrews chapter 7 verse 25. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Have you heard what is read to you? Read to you? There is no other power and there is no other person to whom such authority is vested other than our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the reason every prayer or speech in brotherhood is preceded with in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that we all have turned to him we have to seek salvation from him, for he liveth forever. There is no other source of salvation. Whenever you are encountered with fear and trouble, seek our Lord Jesus Christ, and he discard the invitations of the native doctor. The fetish and the juju priests because they are devoid of salvation and power. All our prayers are treated before him. The prayers of those who know, accept, worship and agree with him are promptly attended to and the resultant assistance is given. Do not beg anybody to come and receive blessing from the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Anyone who likes to steal, let him steal. He who likes to commit any sin, allow him, for I will come quickly, said the Lord. Do not forget that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are here on earth. The only thing is for you to confess your sins and repent of them. When you shall have done this, he is ready to save you. As many as love him and accept him, he authorizes them to become the children of God. If you are tricky and disobedient, you are far from salvation. He said, I will come quickly. Supposing that while living in somebody's house, you create trouble and fight, yet the owner of the house keeps quiet. The owner of the house keeps silent. You ought to be afraid. Why the Lord is patient and silent 
is to make him execute his righteous judgment. This is Christ's week. And whatever you can do, do it to prove that you have acknowledged his kingship and have seen him. You are to demonstrate your joy in any possible way. So through your deeds that you have received his manifold blessing. Do not ponder in your heart why others are not here, but hold fast to your faith because many are called but few are chosen. Do not joke with the opportunity and privilege that God has bestowed on you now. Love, fear, obey, honor, and worship Christ because he knows everything about you. I will not be tedious with you. A stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. He who has ears, let him hear. May God bless his holy word. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.